Before Henry Ford built the Model T, or Walter Chrysler took up the reins uh, at a startup called Buick, a man by the name of Elwood Haynes decided to do a little experiment right here in Kokomo. Right? He, uh, he set up a one-horsepower boat engine on his kitchen. Uh, he bolted it to the ground. His idea was that he might be able to rig the motor to a carriage. So he starts it up, and the engine worked great. Uh, in fact, it, it, it worked so well that it came loose from the bolts and destroyed the kitchen floor. And uh, after a brief and what I imagine was a difficult conversation with his wife, <laughs> Elwood decided to continue his test in his machine shop, and he toiled for months. But when he was finished, he had completed one of the earliest working automobiles ever built in America, and he named it the Pioneer. So Kokomo has a storied place in our history. It is a city where people came to invent things and to build things, to make things here in America, to work hard in the hopes of producing something of value and something that people could be proud of. That's the legacy of all of you. You are all heirs to that tradition right here at this plant. That's the legacy that has made this country the envy of the world. And I'm absolutely convinced this legacy is one you will continue to uphold for years and decades to come. Congratulations, Chrysler. Congratulations, Kokomo. Proud of you.